we are so excited to be Super in our garage excited. with you today. We did a job a few months ago at one of our houses and we took old flat cabinets and we turned them into some beautiful shaker style cabinets. And I have been asked repeatedly how to recreate that. tutorial. So I'm gonna make a tutorial for you. Thank you, babe. That's the word I was looking for. I'm gonna make a tutorial for you, how we're gonna do that, and for it's super inexpensive. I think we're gonna be able to transform the cabinets for under $250. So I'm gonna show you real fast some of the supplies you're gonna need. You're gonna need some wood putty. You're gonna need some liquid nails. You're gonna need, this is a brad nailer, and they take these little tiny brads just to secure the cabinet in place after you glue it. And you're gonna need some cheesecloth, this to remove the dust before you paint, and some sort of sander. I've got a hand sander, I have a hand sander, and I have a belt sander, um, and then obviously some uh, several different grits of sandpaper. So that's what you need, very, oh, and then the biggest thing that you're gonna need is your cabinets and this. So here, let me set you back down because it's kind of weird so walking around. So do you want me to explain what this is? Yes, please. It's five millimeter um, underlayment board. It's like a glued together board, very sturdy and strong. It comes in a four by eight sheet like plywood. And we had Lowe's rip it down a couple times and we're just gonna rip it down into two inch strips and then cut them to size. So the cool part about this board is because it's so thin, it's not adding extra weight or bulk to the cabinets, but it's giving you that look. So this, this thin underlayment is really key to achieving um, the look that we're after. All right, so now we're gonna cut it for you and show you how we do that and go from there. Two more tools that you're gonna need to complete this job. I forgot to tell you what they were. Are, these are the main tools that you're gonna need, silly me. I just completely didn't tell you about them. We just have like a simple table saw that's like nice and compact. It fits in our garage and doesn't take up too much space. So we have a table saw so we can rip the boards down. And we have uh, a chop saw um, so that you can, you know, cut your little strips to length. So those are the two big tools that you need. That's run on our side. Is this recording? recording? It might, it looks like it's recording. Oh gosh. Okay, so step number one, make sure you have an awesome, a good blade on there. So we've got a brand new blade. We want nice clean cuts. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do a test strip. Um, and we do that because we wanna make sure we're getting the exact thickness that we want. We're starting at what, two and a quarter? If we don't like it, we'll probably go to two. Um, and that would be two inches. Ready? Okay, where's my button? Okay, so I've got a cabinet drawer here. We're just going to line it up and see if this is what we're wanting. I'm thinking I want to go maybe with a two. Let's take a cabinet door and do the same thing. So here's a, is this a door? Yeah, it's yeah. definitely. Okay, let's see. I think it's definitely. It's a little too thick, I think. So we'll go ahead and take it down to a two. It's So I've got my workspace all set up here. I've got my chop saw, got my sander, got my brad nailer, and we're good to go. You start with this, okay? Just the flat front, nothing fancy, and you end up with this. And painted and having hardware on it, it's gonna be gorgeous. I just wanna show you how damaged these cabinets are. So the cabinets themselves are solid. These are solid wood, so I'm not too worried about them. They do, if you look at them closely, you can see that their edges are all, see that right here, there's gouges taken out. They're just really worn. These are old cabinets. So by trimming these out and putting the edges, it's really going to cover that and just um, give it a whole new look and save these cabinets. So there's no point in throwing them out. They're still good. Step one, sanding. Just lightly sand, you need to just rough up the surface, get, a, get rid of any shine that's on there. Take 
take your underlayment that you've ripped down to two inches. And I am not one for measuring because I just think it takes so much longer. I'm more of an eyeball kind of person. So I line it up on my cabinet, edge to edge, and use a little mark. Where's James? I have no idea. They are. All right. So. James. So now that I have uh, marked my my piece of wood, we've visually lined everything up. I'm gonna go ahead and set it. You have to account for the thickness of the blade, so always make sure you you line up before you start your cut. Okay, so here we go. We got this one and. Use that as my template for the next side. Mark it again. Get that glue flattened. Line up your edges. Let's take our piece. And you can either measure or cheat the system like I do. trimmed out. So before I like continue on with the other cabinets, I'll show you the next step really fast. And that is how we're going to finish the edge. So if you can see, there's a gap here, like a small gap. And I like to fill this in. You don't have to do that step. Um, probably save yourself a lot of time, but I am going to do it because I feel like I get a cleaner look at the end. Do you open up your putty? and just get some and you just do fill in that crack with the putty this way if your cabinet isn't perfectly um, flat and you kind of have a little bit of a round edge there's you're gonna have even a bigger gap but this will just fill that in if you can see what I'm doing I just fill that crack in take off my extra Okay, and then we let, I do that to all the sides and I let it dry and I sand that off. And then guess what? You clean it up, clean the cabinet up and it's ready for paint. This is that corner where there was a chip. See, you can see there's a little bit bigger gap. I wouldn't even worry about that. If your cabinets are in bad shape like that, you just cover it in with that putty. And keep going.
So I thought I'd let my daughter learn how to build these cabinets too. I mean, why not? She's like the heir to my legacy, right? So I gotta teach her how it's done. So I'm gonna show her and explain to her how to make the cabinets. She's 11 and if she can do it, you can do it. Oh, you got this. All right. Measure it. Push it nice and tight up against the thing, and then I do a trigger right here. And when you get here, you just cut it. Now, you just kind of zigzag it. Blah, 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 blah. Don't get too close to the edges. And then I do this. You just kind of jiggle it like that back and forth to make sure the glue gets sunk down. And I just kind of go boom, 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 boom. It's heavy. Yeah. There, that's good. Perfect. Got that one in. Um. All right. Wait. Good job. Okay, guys. That's it. That's it. We're we're done. We ha I have showed you exactly how to do this. This is what the putty looks like when it's dry on the edges. It's nice and smooth. We go ahead and sand that down, just like we sand down the whole cabinet right before we get ready to paint it. It's so cute. If you like your cabinets and you just want to refinish them, I'm going to be doing my painting tutorial next, and I'll show you how to revive your cabinets and make them gorgeous. So definitely don't want to miss the next few episodes. Please like, subscribe, share, and uh, get, get the word out there that we've got something cool happening here. We'll see you next time. Thank you.